Good evening everybody and welcome to episode 12 of Rising to the Top with Seven Azvezda. Now last time I left you off with the win against Partizan 2-1 at home in the Superliga. Today we are going to kick off with the match against OFK Beograd and we are going to recap quite a few matches. So in this match we won with a scoreline of 3-0. The responsible parties were Alexander Katai, Marat Ismailov, and Georgia Despotovic. So let's take a look at all three goals, starting with, of course, Alexander Katai's goal in the 17th minute. And Ismailov. Nice layoff pass to Petkovic, beautiful cross into the box, that's 1-0, Alexander Katai. Here's the second goal, scored by none other than Marat Ismailov. 32nd minute, 2-0. Here's the final goal, scored by Georgia Despotovic, who recently came back from loan. Beautiful tap, and that's his first goal of the season. And 3 0 is the final scoreline here at Rajkomitic. Following the match against OFK, we played against Mladost Lucani. Oh no, sorry, I'm going backwards in time here. So, uh, Sparti Spartak Zlatibor Vada. And this match had absolutely everything. The Sportovic scored the first goal inside the first minute. <coughs> Breaking the record for the fastest goal scored set by Luka Jovic, which was previously, previously at 46 seconds. This one's at 19 seconds into the match. Georgia Despotovic, welcome back. 1 0. Here's 1 1. Vukashin Ivanovic made a terrible mistake here, putting the ball past his own keeper. And 10th minute, it's Spartak Zlati Borwada 1, Seven Azvezda 1. And we get a penalty. Lucho converts in the 20th minute. 2-1-7 as Vezda. And then in 29th minute, Torbica sc scores an own goal. Powerful finish, but wrong net. That makes it 3-1 for 7 as Vezda. And then in the 43rd minute, Stefan Ilic scores for Spartak Zlata Borwada, makes it 3-2. And Adunovic was powerless. He couldn't do anything to stop that goal right there. And then 4 to 2. Slavoljub Cernic scores here. And at this point, the fans are thinking, yeah, Zvezda's got this. They've won. But Spartak Zlatiborvada was not finished, not by long shot. They've scored. Uh, Dusan Tešić scored two goals. And there's the first one in the 77th minute, making it 4 3. And four minutes later, equalizer once again from Dusan Tešić. And that is. His fourth goal of the season, fourth goal of the match for Spartak Zlatiborvoda. Final scoreline: seven as well as the four. Spartak Zlatiborvoda four. Following this, we went away to Olavinsky Footballski Club, Beograd, and won with a comfortable scoreline of three to one. 
goals came from Marko Grujic, 16th minute in a penalty, in the 16th minute to a penalty, sorry. Then in 31st minute, Grujic struck again. Then Slavoljub Cernic scored in the 26th, making it 3-0. And finally, Andrija Kalujerovic, the 28-year-old nomadic striker, scored for, for them, making it 3-1 and 6-1 on aggregate final scoreline. <coughs> After this, we faced off against Radnic Kinish in a fairly drab, uneventful match which was televised played at home as well, ended up with a 0-0 scoreline. After that, we lost our, I believe this was our fifth, fourth or fifth loss in the league. We lost to Rad Radnik Surdulica, who are near the bottom of the table. Two goals from Marko Putin Putinchanin and one goal from Predrag Djordjevic for final scoreline at 3-0. We just didn't show up for this match. We weren't ready and we definitely paid the price for that. There's Putin turning his first goal. Here's his second. Oh no, this is Djordjevic's goal. What a goal. That's gonna end up being goal of the goal of the year. And here's the team trying in once again. How the mighty have fa fallen. <coughs> After this match we dropped to the second place in the table. With Voivod and Alvar taking the top spot. But these are still near the bottom and sixth. Not near the bottom, in mid table, in sixth place. <coughs> Following that, we played Metalets Gordon Milanovac in the semi final of the cup. First leg was won by us away from home on goals scored by Marat Ismailov and Slavoljub Cernic, four minutes apart. Luka Merdovic scored for them in the 27th minute, so they they got the lead first, we pegged them back twice to win away from home, and over here, Metalats Gorni Milanovac scored on a penalty, the final scoreline was 2-2, but not enough since they scored one goal at home. At uh, away from home and we scored two, we advanced to the final on the merit of a goal difference. After the cup match, we played Jagodina and lost our second league match in a row due to a penalty sc scored by Igor Ivanovic. Final scoreline, Serena Zvezda 0, Futbalski Club Jagodina 1. Now four televised matches in a row versus Napreda Kruševac, Futbalski klub Bežanija, Čukarički Stankom and Futbalski klub Vojvodina who were up until this point leaders in the table. We've overtaken them thanks to that one but let's quickly recap these matches. So first goal for Cevena Zvezda came from Aleksandar Katai in the seventh minute. Of course this is the match against Napreda Kruševac. Plavšić, Katai, goal, 1-0, 25th minute Katai strikes again, 2-0, 66th minute Georgia Despotovic, what a blessing he's turned out to be after coming back from loan, what a consistent player too consistent thorn for any opponent we play against. Then we faced off against Bajania here, winning 2-1 to one on two goals from Luka Jovic. 
Try to go with that. It scored first. I should have showed his goal first. Actually, let's go back. We'll do exactly that. Sabatnitsak, Lekic, Govedarica 1 0. 32nd minute. Luka Jovic needed all of 30 seconds to reply to that. 1 1. Pegged back immediately. And the winning goal scored by none other than the man of the hour, Luka Jovic. Another masterfully delivered cross and Jovic taps in his 25th of the season seven as raised at two football club Bejania one following this we played against the Chukarichki Stankom away from home and won on two goals which came from Georgia the spot twitch in 67th and 76th minute Ziovinic lays it off Spotovic scores an advantage played from the referee there, and that's 1-0. <coughs> and here's his second goal, 76th minute. Brajevic. What a cross into open space there by Brajevic, and that's a goal. 2-0, Srebrenica Zvezda, against Čukarički Stankom. And here comes the key match. Prior to this match, let's just quickly take a look at the league table. We were sitting on 73 points, and Vojvodina was sitting on 75. They were at the top of the table here. And as you can see, the loss to our team put them back into second place where they belong. And puts us back atop the league table. Prior to the final match of the season, for the league side of the com competition this year against Borat's Chachak and provided that we win, we'll stay ahead of Vojvodina based on head-to-head -head results. Now, here is everything you need to know about this match. Two goals in the same minute. Which one came first here? Let's just go in order of the highlights, but it was just Pavicevic. I Ivanic, Veselinovic, Gruic, and Pavicevic again. So Tsevanas raised the strikes first. Inside the 16th minute, Zaba Pavicevic gets his second goal of the season. It's 1 0. Still inside the same minute here. Vojvodina will peg us back immediately. Veselinovic plays it for Ivanic and he banks it in off the post. 1-1. One, one. Mirko Ivanic scores to equalize. Here is 2-1. Zakula plays the ball out of the box. Crosses it over to Stanisavljevic. Ivanic, Veselinovic, 2-1. Lazar Veselinovic, his 13th of the season. And it's Tsevanaze is the one, one Vojvodina 2. Here's the equalizing goal. Beautiful tackle by Alexander Lukovic there. Ismailov plays it into the box but fails to find his target. Gruic, Mauro, Gruic, 2 2. Marco Gruic blasts it off in from some way out. And that's Tsevan Azmezda 2. Fudlovsky Club Vojvodina 2. And there is Pavicevic's brace. The game winning, potentially the league winning goal. Saba Pavicevic, man of the match, man of the hour. And that is Futbalski Club Boy within a three, not two, seven as well as the three. And as mentioned prior to the recap of that match, that puts us squarely 
into first place. We're tied on points with Voivodina. And with one match remaining, all we have to do is make sure that we win. Our last match of the season will be against Borac Čačak. But prior to that, we are going to have a live com against Football Ski Club Partizan in the first leg of the final of the Serbian Cup. But that will be a matter for the very next episode and each one of the Partizan live uh, episodes will be live com separately for each match. With that being said, I would like to thank you once again for tuning in. And if you like the comment, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you back for the next one.